I just launched five games. And I know this isn't the typical indie developer approach. I'm supposed to work on one project for three years before launching it, right? Wrong, I'm kicking out good games every few months. Oh, and how am I feeling, you ask? Tired, because for one, my cute little baby won't let me sleep, and two, I've been staying up really late getting all of these games to the finish line. So here we go, let's dive into the game launches. The first game you'll probably be able to guess. I've been covering its development on this channel now for a few months. It's called Bridges and Docks, and it's a cozy island builder game where you can sculpt your dream island using either manual or procedural generation tools. You can complete objectives, unlock new items and tools to create some really fun island environments. Place blocks, buildings, trees, animals, bridges, and more. This game launches on Steam today, and I'm really excited for you all to get your hands on it. Now, I fluctuated a long time about what I wanted to price this game, but in the end, I decided that I would rather err on the side of being too generous and making you all feel like you got a really good deal for the game. So it's only $5. And with the launch discount, it's only $4.50. So please go check it out. The first few days are the most important when it comes to Steam launches. If enough of you buy it, then it will tell Steam that it's worth showing to other people. So all purchases and reviews are very, very, very helpful. There's a screenshot tool in the game, so I'm really hoping that you all will take screenshots of your creations and then tag me on it in either Discord or Twitter, and I'll be sure to repost it. So Bridges and Docks is the bigger game that I've been working on since like November or December, and it's a lot of fun. It's super sandboxy and creative, and I'm really excited to see what you all do with it. Okay, next I launched two games on a brand new platform that maybe you guys have never heard of before. It's called the Atari VCS. It's an awesome console that's made both for retro and modern gaming. And I filmed myself unboxing this console and going through all of the things that were in the package. It was really cool and I can't find it, so I think I accidentally deleted it. And there's no one here to blame except for Past Thomas. That guy's an idiot. So one of the games I just launched on the VCS is my game Tanks But No Tanks, which is a local multiplayer arcade shoot-em-up. It was a really fun porting process to work on, and I even made sure to set up all functionality in the game to work even if you're using the classic joystick controller. I had to get a little creative with that because there are way fewer buttons than a typical controller, but because you can use both controllers, the couch co-op game is ready to go out of the box. Okay, the third game that I just launched is also on the VCS, but originally it was released on the iPhone a few years ago. It's called Tile Cross, and it's a procedurally generated puzzle game that's a lot of fun. The goal is to traverse over every tile only once and then end up in the light. I wrote some interesting algorithms to make sure that the levels fold back on themselves and increase in difficulty as you go. I added a few quality of life improvements to the game, like a UI overhaul, sound effects, and new color palettes that you unlock as you get further in the game. I remember this game being very simple, but I was surprised at how often I got caught up playtesting this game. It was an interesting project to port because it actually comes from very early on in my game development career. This was one of my very first projects that I actually published, and you can tell. The code is absolutely atrocious. Again, no one to blame here except past Thomas. That guy's an idiot. So I had to rehack a lot of nasty code, but it's done and ready to go, so I'll count that a win in my book. Okay, so that's three out of five. Which way are you guys? So that's three out of five games that I just launched. And the last two might be a little underwhelming. They're the same two titles, Tanks But No Tanks and Tile Cross, but they're being released on the PlayStation 4 and 5. My Tanks game was already released on the PlayStation 5, but I recently acquired a PS4 dev kit, so now both games are on the PS4 and PS5. And as of the time of recording this, I ran into some publishing issues on the PlayStation platform, so they might actually not be released the day that I post this video, uh, but it should be released either this week or next week. I gotta say though, I'm having a lot of fun developing games. I'm trying to think strategically about how I can best use my time for game development and console porting and video creation. And I'll probably do a recap video pretty soon that gives a high level review of how much income I generated from these releases. Without breaking any NDAs, I'm wondering if maybe I can just give you one grand total amount and not specify which portion came from each console. I don't know, I'll look into it. So thank you for your encouragement on my game dev journey. I feel like I'm starting to hit my stride where I can set up a semi-regular cadence for releasing games. And I'm hoping that I can pursue more ambitious projects as I go. I wanted to give a shout out for my Patreon supporters and specifically to CD and Ashley Canning who recently joined my Patreon community. 
Thank you guys so much. And once this video ends, I'm hoping that you'll go to the description, hit the Steam link, check out Bridges and Docks, give it a review, tell me what you think. This isn't the finish line, this is the starting line. I know that there's gonna be a lot of bug fixes. And I have a few major content updates that I want to add to the game. I have some really fun new tools that I think would be awesome to add. And I'm hoping to create enough of a splash on launch week to notify Steam that this isn't just another throwaway game. Anyway, I appreciate you all watching this and supporting me, and I'll see you all in the next one.